Well, this is the Dove Lady again, and here I go reading poems. These are the poems that came to me when I was inspired in the year 1998. Since that year, I haven't been inspired to write poems, but that one year, well, the inspiration came, and I guess I could do it again if I get inspired again. So here I go at what this one is called to die is to live, and to live is to love. Some say they've never talked to God. Some say they've never seen her face. But you've seen God in every face on which you've focused your eyes. Your eyes have been a little dim for you to fail to notice him. You got into a little fear when you thought that she was not near. But I am in your very soul. You breathe me with your every breath. And I am in the situation, even when you call it death. For I can never, never die. I only change my form. I live as you upon the face of earth, and then return unto the place of birth. You are much bigger than you know. A god you are, but you don't show the capabilities of a god. For you think of yourself as just a clod of dirt. You are so much more than you know. You've only come here to grow. To face a new kind of situation. To see what will be your heart's persuasion. To live a life of knowing only love. To see me in the very heart of man. Though often man may be in his illusion. You can see through the illusion and call him blessed. You only need to bless each person, each situation, and call everything blessed. Call them blessed and call them holy, for God is looking on the inward heart of you. Call them blessed and call them holy. This is all you need to do. Everything in life is a little mini-series of your favorite character. Call it you. The next performance of the latest showing is directed by you without your knowing. You know not that your life is how you call it, for you keep looking at the things at hand. You think of former days and drag them to you, making this current show a repeat performance of the past. But it need not be the same old situation, for you are the director of the show. It changes all the time and it gets better. Your way of directing things can make the difference. So learn you how to be a good director. Learn you how to be a better potter. Know that you become the thoughts you think. And think again and make a better choice. All around you are the opportunities. But you have labeled them as only difficulties. And so that is what they become for you for they will be as you call them. You're calling forth. You are the thinker, thinking, and like attracts like. Thoughts of fear will bring the fearful thing right to you. Thoughts of love will do the same thing too. You are the co-creator just like me. You create the next series of the show. I know the final outcome of the show, and rest assured it comes out good. But you determine how long it's going to take and how much pain you must endure along the way. Turn it around. You can do it today by watching all the thoughts you think and what you do and say. Just call forth a new tomorrow. There are so many possibilities, so many ways a person's life can go. You only need to keep your thought in line with my loving thoughts. I am not going to do the thinking for you. I've given you free will to make your choice. So make your choice, but don't call it good or bad. Just observe, did it serve you? If you learned anything that made your spirit grow, if you learned how to forgive, if you learned how to love, then you have taken your spirit to a higher level. You grow, you evolve, you experience. Life is for the living of it. See it as exciting. 
See it as revealing. See it as exploring. See it as discovering. See it as remembering. Now this next poem is called A Message from a Fish. I am a fish and I know some things. You want to catch me, but I want to catch you. I have a way of diving deep. My thoughts are going to speak to you. If you dive deep, yes, deep within, way down deep inside of you, where that still small voice abides in you, which you did not hear because you were just skimming the surface. But you see the surface. I, but you see, I have learned that the surface is loud, for the waves are always breaking. The birds can dive right into the surface. The light penetrates into the surface, and you can see so much, but not everything. For did you know that you can also see in the dark? It's dark down deep from where I come. I hear no noise. I see no light. Nothing distracts me so I can be alone and quiet and remember. It's hard to remember when you are near the surface. Too much to see and hear and touch. Things that fascinate. Things that frighten. Things that just fill my mind up, crowding out any time to reflect. You stay so busy, busy, busy all the time when you are staying on the surface, never knowing that there is any reason to go deeper, to stop the searching, always searching for the truth. Deep, deep down inside, the truth abides, hidden there just like a treasure, but not found easily, or you have to want it. You have to desire it with all your being. And be willing to say, I will be still and listen. And even to be willing to have been wrong. Wrong in what I thought, what I said, what I did, what I believed. Wrong but not condemned, only corrected. For love abides deep down inside of you. Unconditional love, such as says, I forgive you for you knew not what you were doing. I am the magic fish, you know, that grants your wish. If you will not wish to rule the sun, the moon, the stars, but if you wish the only wish that you will ever need, not to rule, control, possess, dictate, but to create with the truth, with understanding. I am a fish who has a wish for you, and it's my wish that you knew the truth I do. Now, this next one is called World Change or Me Change. The world will not change until we change our perception of it. We never hardly ever look at how we see things. We still call things good and bad. We fluctuate between the two. One day we're up, one day we're down. Because we don't understand, there is perfection in the process. We don't really know what anything is for, but we think we do. And we don't know that we don't know. Oh, that was a short one. <laughs> this next one's called Not Fully Human. I don't see myself as fully human. So many humans are looking for a spiritual experience. But if we only knew, we are a spirit and we are having a human experience. And if us humans only knew the wants and desires of our own spirit self, then we would see with spirit's eyes and not hold to all that's human, where our emotions rule the day. We would be beyond pleasure or pain. We would be beyond right or wrong. We would be beyond good or bad. We would be beyond time or space. We would not even worry about the human race. Little footnote, not that we don't care about the human race, but that we know not to worry. Okay, this next one is called, 
God's song in me. I know who I am and I know where I'm going because I know that I'm already there. I need not go anywhere. All that God has for me is already inside of me. You think there is a past and you think there is a future and you are going back and forth between the two. Here's a secret. This is what you do. From now on, the present is the only place to be, for the future is already here, and the past is no longer relevant. You can only take the leap of faith to decide that now is the best time to be alive and make the most of this holy instant now. For when you do, oh, when you do, you change the the past and you change the future, for they can have no control of you. There is no other way for you to have your way. So live within this day and change your very thought so it can have the sway over all your bygone days and all your future too. It's really up to you. This moment that is true depends on me and you to cooperate, to dedicate, to contemplate, to concentrate, to appreciate, to demonstrate, to celebrate, to officiate. For life is for the living now. There is no other time, for I have made you mine. You can only lose your mind if you take it out of mine. You are all a part of me, and I know that you will see me living in you, as you, and through you, but not for you, and not only you. For I am in every one of you, See me in everyone you see. Don't condemn any part of me. I am able to give you light when you realize to your delight that I am the light that shines from within each person, no matter how dim, no matter how you think of him. For good and bad is only your way of making your words construct things your way. Good and bad are only your your rules of what you want and what you'll see. The truth is that I am a God of one. My law is love and only love. You cannot break it into its opposite, for nothing else can oppose it. You are only fooling yourself to think that you can make anything but love. No one using hate has made anything that lasts The truth about what you have made out of fear is just that it is an illusion. I know this sounds queer, but illusions are happening all around you to help you remember and to know what you can do. You have the power within yourself to make your world behave itself. I have given you the dominion, but you gave it away, and now you can decide to take it back. When you can remember the one that you are is God, then you will discover that you are one with it all, the sunset, the trees, the sea, and the breeze, the plant in the ground, the worm in the dirt, and also the star that shines above. You're everywhere present. You're everywhere love. Oh, when you remember, you're remembering me. You bring me together with love, can't you see? You get out your own special ways of expressing all of the love my heart is out pressing. You find love in everyone only when you know that you're looking for me in them too. For your narrow-minded ways of thinking you are separate have made for you senseless things that won't last your doctrines, your rituals, your do-it-my-way. Your smug little feeling of superiority is something you use to deny my authority. We don't get to heaven by refusing to see the simple fact that everyone is me. My love is a transforming power, you see, and hate has not power to do things my way. For hate draws the user into its own self. And nothing is possible to build that will last. 
It builds nothing. It destroys nothing. It is nothing. For you see, hate is only a thought you have thought. And it is a thought you have thought because of fear. Because you won't remember that I'm here. I'm in you. In all. Hate is only a thought you have thought. I've given it no power, but you have. It is not real unless you make it real. It is something that you made when you got into fear. Your fear is your own illusion, not mine. I have no part in believing that way. For love is my nature. Love is all that I know. I don't know judgment, for why would I judge when I see you as me? I don't know punishment, for why should I hurt myself? I don't know doubt, for I am certainty. I am that I am, and you are that you are. But what are you going to make of yourself? What is it that you are? You can only be what you think and say, and what you think and say is how you create. For you are the potter, and you are the clay. You are the thinker, and you are the thought. Now, this next song I call my happy song. I am so happy, happy, happy each and every day. I feel no more the hopelessness. My life is far from empty. For I am always talking to and hearing from the God inside of me. And God is always saying, there's so much that you can do. And at first when God said this to me, well, you see, I could not agree. I would say, look at me. I'm not doing anything that is so spectacular. I'm trying to write a book and writing some poems, but very few I show them to are very impressed at all. And I had hoped that they would fall in love with every word I said. But God has shown me that I should have no expectations. I give the message. That is all. And after that, I turn it over to spirit. I am just the messenger. No one should need to worship me because I said such and such. It's the message that I care to make known. But I guess I was sort of thinking, I should be famous. I should be rich. Then I would know that I was really special. But God inside showed me, you are special, but so is everyone. And you are rich in ways you do not yet fully appreciate. And you are famous, for you have the ear of God. I still have problems in my life, the same as everyone. But now I seem to just float above them somehow, as though I were detached and only looking at a movie. I have a different vantage point. I'm not so much in my own way. And now I can really get to work, except now... Work is fun, and fun is something I think is soon to be pure bliss, and I'm happy now. And that is pretty much most of the poems. I do have a few more that I haven't read. Some of them are very, very long, <laughs> but... um I, I apologize for a long poem because I've, I've read poems to people that were long and they just get tired of listening. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this, these poems that I read to you. And this is the Dub Lady in Over and Out for Now.